Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and back to another ride with me vlog. In today's video, I'm riding someone who I literally haven't ridden in months. It's been so long and yes, today I am riding Mr. Fish himself. Poor Mr. Fishy has a little bit of an irritated eye, which is why he has to wear his fly mask. Unfortunately, when he was caught from the field this morning, he didn't have his fly mask on, so he scratches his eye and it just gets super irritated. I believe he has like ingrown eyelashes or something along the lines, so the poor guy has a little bit of an irritated eye today. So I feel for him and made sure to give him lots of extra love and treats, but I am just finishing tacking him up and getting him ready and we're going to head down to the outdoor arena to start our lesson. So yeah, it's been so long since you guys have seen him on my channel and it's literally just because I haven't been riding him. Uh, my, my trainer has been putting me on different horses recently and unfortunately Mr. Fish is just not in my rotation, but I got to ride him today and I'm looking forward to it because he has a lovely canter, although I have to admit his right canter is an absolute struggle to get that proper lead so we'll see if i've improved in that aspect at all the horses that i've been riding lately don't struggle with it too too much so i haven't had too much practice yeah nobody remind her um, i don't mind them I like hey you don't ride red yeah, you ride the smoothest horse in the whole world, okay? Yeah. There is no question about falling off from no stirrup work. So it is officially no stirrup November. I don't know about you guys and what you guys do at your barn. We definitely don't do full lessons no stirrup, but we'll just do a little bit of extra no stirrup work during our lesson in the spirit of no stirrup November. Let me know if you guys are participating at all. I know, sorry. Sorry. Okay. Let's go trot trot. Trot trot. Trot trot. Meet their fish. So something about Fisher is he actually has a quite choppy and bouncy trot and I used to find it quite difficult to post to it but guys I'm not gonna lie ever since that ride on Bailey horses who I used to think were bouncy genuinely don't feel bouncy anymore it's crazy. This doesn't really seem like November weather, are you sure? Hoping it was a joke. It is truly a love-hate relationship with no stirrup work. I love it because it is so good for building muscle and strength and my leg position always feels super solid after doing a bunch of no stirrup work. Hate because it literally feels like knives being stabbed into my thighs. <laughs> But yeah, it wasn't too much of a struggle doing no stirrup posting on Fishy. I remember previously doing no stirrup work. I literally felt like I was like fighting for my life, trying not to fall off. But honestly, guys, I think I've gotten better, maybe. <laughs> If you're new to no stirrup work and you would like to give it a go, I would definitely recommend doing a no stirrup sit trot first. Get a feel for that before you try posting with no stirrups. Thank you.
Ooh, walk break. So that was extremely painful. It felt like we were doing posting no stirrups for so long. Yeah. So this is the dreaded right canter lead that Fishy has such a difficult time picking up. Unfortunately, we are starting on the right. I don't like starting on the more difficult side. I feel like I like to get a little bit of confidence going the left way first. But here we go, jumping into the water with no water wings. So honestly, that wasn't too, too bad. It did take us a few tries, but we got it. Unfortunately though, we did lose it. We did break to try. The theme of this lesson is I didn't have my leg quite in the right position for canter. I didn't have it far back enough and you'll definitely see more of that later, which is a big reason as to why he kept breaking to trot. So we only did manage to pick up the right canter once that time, but a win is a win. <laughs> right, but at least we got that over with now, and now I get to go left the easy way. Not gonna lie guys, feeling a little scared to canter without stirrups. We've never done this officially. Obviously when we were learning to canter, I used to lose my stirrups all the time, but this is different. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think I think that'll be better. Yeah. Yeah. Feels better. Yeah, okay. Cantering without stirrups is not as bad as you guys might think. Oh, I feel like we did it already. So we already did it for so long. We were learning to canter. Not by choice, but. 
So that actually wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. The most difficult part was definitely the transition, but it wasn't too bad. Thankfully, we get to keep our stirrups for jumping. I would like to try jumping in a stirrups at some point, but not just yet. Thank you, we got seven, I think. Take my word for it. <laughs> Good boy. Even though I know he's definitely not gonna get the lead correction, I am still trying for it. Oh, I forgot about the lead change. Sorry. Yeah. That's one thing that I do need to work on big time for my jumping is I definitely tend to anticipate the two point. I need to learn to be patient and sit up and wait until those front legs come off the ground. Unfortunately, we are coming off of the right, so I have to get that right canter lead again, but honestly, this is really good practice for me for dealing with a horse who has a hard time picking up the right canter lead. Okay, here we go. One last time, we have to get his right canter lead. Been successful all these times, so hopefully I can do it one more.
Okay guys, so we did it. I managed to get his right canter lead every time and on my last chance too. That was amazing. Oh, you have Mr. Fish. We're sharing again. Lovely, he's been a good boy today. Oh, thank you. This is my crop, so I'm going to keep it, but oh, I can yes, grab yes, you yes, one absolutely. if you want one. Um, Do you want one? I, I'm usually okay with that one for him. Okay. Yeah. Just gonna loosen this. No problem. Just because it was super tight for. Oh, for it the should be. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. No problem. So that was our lesson. Honestly, had such a good ride for my first ride back on Fishy in so long. I really enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.